The Free Parade Serenade was provided by Marine Band San Diego, Marine Corps Crew Depot, San Diego, California. The Marine Corps has played an active role in San Diego history ever since Marines from the Sloop of War Cyan seized Old Town during the Mexican-American War in 1846. Marines have been stationed at the Crew Depot since 1921, when most of the buildings your front were constructed. These buildings, known as the Arcade, were designed by world-famous architect Bertram Goodhue. The Arcade is among 25 buildings that have qualified for inclusion on the National Register of Historic Places and are outstanding examples of Spanish colonial revival architecture. Since 1923, more than a million Marines have completed their recruit training here at the Marine Corps Crew Depot San Diego, and since 1915 at the Marine Corps East Coast Recruit Training Depot at Paris Island, South Carolina. Regardless of where a Marine attended boot camp, you can rest assured that they received the toughest and most physically and mentally demanding recruit training offered anywhere in the world. Some individual techniques and methods may have evolved over the years, but the focus and adherence to our core values of honor, courage, and commitment are as strong today as any time in our history. Today, the Marines of Company F accept the responsibilities to safeguard this proud tradition as they step forward to join this rich heritage. Ahead of them lie bright futures that will no doubt add to the proud Marine legacy that they now rightfully claim as their own. Corporal Manny is a three-year-old full-blooded English Bulldog born in Fallbrook, California on July 9, 2018. He is named in honor of Sergeant Johnny R. Manuelito Sr., one of the original 29 Navajo Code Talkers who trained in the first All Navajo Platoon here aboard the depot in 1942. Sergeant Manuelito helped create the code that the Navajos developed at Camp Elliott, now Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. He became an instructor teaching other Navajo Marines the Navajo Code. Later, Sergeant Manuelito participated in the Battle of Iwo Jima, where a Marine Signals Officer stated, had it not been for the Code Talkers, we would have never taken Iwo Jima. Corporal Manny continues the tradition of a long line of Marine Corps Bulldog mascots, dating back to 1921, when Brigadier General Smedley Butler appointed Sergeant Major Jiggs as the first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks Quantico. He is being escorted by the Office of Communication Strategy and Operations, Corporal Max J. Noel. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Commander Ulysses L. Ubalde, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we praise you for this wonderful day as we come together to celebrate the achievement of these United States Marines. This is a special day in the life of these graduates. As they embark on the next chapter in their lives, we pray that the same hand that has kept them thus far will continue to be in their lives. May God's hand of protection be upon them and may God's word continue to be light upon their path. Help them to make wise decisions and to always keep you first in everything what they do and to always keep you first in everything they do. Father, we humbly pray to guide and guard our new U.S. Marines who will serve our country. Help and strengthen them in their right to struggle for the preservation of liberty and justice for all. Make all ever mindful of their duty to our country and fill them with courage and loyalty. Finally, we are grateful for all the officers and drill instructors who trained our new U.S. Marines. We pray to protect, guide, and watch them and their families. Fill them with your love, compassion, and your radiance. 
We ask this in your holy name. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Crew Depot San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historic event in the life of a Marine. Their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits in the Southwest and the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to Recruiter School and Drill Instructor School. All our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marines. This morning, Company F, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is 1st Sergeant Jose D. Ruiz, Company 1st Sergeant, Company F, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion. The Parade Adjutant is Staff Sergeant Tecumseh I.P., Drill Instructor, Company F, 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment. The marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. Marching in today's parade are 216 of the graduating Marines from Company F. Among the 216 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private First Class Austin M. Corville from Batum 2117 is the company high shooter, scoring a 340 out of 350. Private Jamonte J. Milton from Batum 2125 is the most physically fit Marine scoring a 298 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and a 300 out of 300 on the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Not present today, but worth recognizing is the company honor graduates recruiter, Staff Sergeant Bradley Taylor. Also not present today, but still worth recognizing is the primary marksmanship instructor with a platoon high shooting average of 220 for platoon 2,121, Sergeant William R. Colmerauer. Recruit training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison, are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills, and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguish them as Marines. Examples of these traits are Discipline The achievement of a state of discipline which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing Consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others toward excellence and common goals. For 246 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls. In the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Though battlefields change and capabilities evolve, history proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine. With steeled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, 
and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, Semper Fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat or deployed throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be most ready when the nation is least ready, to defend freedom anytime and anywhere, to stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters, to pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy, and to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company F, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton and on this parade deck, and have been trained as are all Marines as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the recruit depot. Their Marines qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hand over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.
Thank you. Please be seated. Following the command, Parade Breast, the Parade Adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward to the assembled Marines while playing military marching music.
The Parade Adjutant now presents the assembled command to the Commander of Troops. At the command, Officer Center March. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines.
Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to court and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Brigadier General Jason L. Morris, the Commanding General at Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego and the Western Recruiting Region, as well as on behalf of Colonel Joseph W. Jones, the Commanding Officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, welcome to the graduation of Company F. I'd like, I'd like to begin today by recognizing a few groups vital to our mission accomplishment. First and foremost, the friends and families of these new Marines. Thank you for your love and support on their journey to this day. You laid the foundation which allowed them to take the initial steps towards becoming a Marine. Your support sustained them during recruit training and will continue to be a source of inspiration in their future vocation. We're glad to have you as part of the Marine Corps family. Thank you for being here. To the families of Company F, seated to the right of the reviewing stand, no one knows more than you the time and dedication required to transform a civilian into a Marine. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly grateful for your sacrifice and your support, which allows these drill instructors and officers to perform this critical mission. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the families of Company F. I'd like to recognize our parade reviewing official, Sergeant Major Cedeno, whose impressive bio you will hear shortly, and who currently serves as a Sergeant Major of the Marine Air Group 16. Sergeant Major, we're honored to have you. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Making Marines is a team effort, and at the forefront of that effort are Marine recruiters stationed around our great country. These men and women work tirelessly to identify, educate, and inspire the next generation of Marines. Our other teammate in this effort are the instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion, responsible for teaching the combat skills necessary to fight and win in any climb and place. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our recruiters and our combat instructors. <laughs> the last group I'd like to recognize certainly need no introduction. For everyone knows the legendary and distinct campaign cover of a Marine Corps drill instructor. From the moment a recruit arrives, there is a drill instructor with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, tirelessly instilling the qualities and esprit de corps of a United States Marine and leaving an indelible mark on those they lead. Trust me, your Marine will never forget the name, the face, or the gentle, loving voice of their drill instructor. Now these Marines behind me are on average 18-year-old high school graduates, and one has a college degree. They come to us from every state and territory in the Western Recruiting Region and seven countries around the world, some as far away as Kenya and Lebanon. And when they arrived and raised their right hand and swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, they differentiated themselves from 99% of their peers. Upon arrival, these drill instructors forged them in the fires of martial discipline and shaped their minds and bodies in the mold of generations of Marines who have worn our cloth. They prove themselves capable by carrying heavy loads long distances over mountainous terrain with minimal food and sleep to be where they're needed, when they're needed, to accomplish any mission. Now you may have noticed some changes in your Marine. They stand a little taller, look a little leaner, and sport an outstanding haircut. Moms and dads, I promise, they know how to make their beds. But the truly important change is the one that has taken place inside. For they have been immersed in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And by virtue of standing here today, they've embraced those as their own. 
And it is because of this, because of the journey they have undergone, and because of the moral, mental, and physical development they have displayed, that I am proud to present 216 young Marines who can forever claim the title of United States Marine. Now I'd like to address these fine young folks one last time. Good morning, Marines. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly proud of you. We've watched you work, strive, and learn these past months, and we are pleased to welcome you to our ranks. When you arrived here, you affirmed a commitment of selfless service to our Corps. These drill instructors fanned a flame inside of you, and now we trust you will keep it burning brightly. You can be justifiably proud of what you've accomplished here. You've earned your tan belts in our martial arts program. Some of you learned to swim for the very first time in our water survival program. And many of you overcame a fear of heights and our confidence in obstacle course. You learned weapons employment to deliver precision fire on targets from a staggering distance of 500 yards. And in a final test, you completed the grueling three-day crucible, which required you to display exemplary character, physical and mental toughness, the ability to decide, act, and communicate, leadership, and a warfighter spirit. And every Marine, past and present, expects you to use those same attributes in your future trials. And so, having completed the longest and most arduous recruit training on this globe, you stand ready to carry on our Marine Corps tradition as America's Naval Expeditionary Force in readiness. As you go forward on the next leg of your Marine Corps journey, I implore you to be safe be smart and make good decisions. Remember, that Eagle Globe and Anchor, which was pressed into the palm of your hand atop the Reaper, represents 246 years of Marines who have come before. You must always be worthy of that legacy and protect what you have earned. And so, on behalf of the Marines, sailors, and civilians here at Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, let me offer you a traditional naval parting of fair winds and following seas. Congratulations, Marines. Semper Fidelis, welcome to our Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Sergeant Major Michael E. Cedeno, Sergeant Major for Marine Aircraft Group 16. He is accompanied by Sergeant Major Paul F. Aiken, Sergeant Major for Recruit Training Regiment. Sergeant Major Michael E. Cedeno, Sergeant Major, Marine Aircraft Group 16, 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing. Sergeant Major Cedeno was born in Harlingen, Texas. He enlisted in the Marine Corps on 24 April 1995 and attended recruit training at Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. Upon completion, he received Marine Combat Training at Camp Pendleton, California. Upon completion of Marine Combat Training, he attended the Basic Radio Operators Course in 29 Palms, California and received the Military Occupational Specialty of 2531. Sergeant Major Cedeno has served in a variety of challenging billets in numerous commands to include Basic Radio Operator at 1st Battalion, 10th Marine Regiment, Drill Instructor and Senior Drill Instructor at Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, Company Gunnery Sergeant at Support Company, 9th Communications Battalion, Assistant Marine Officer Instructor at Rice University in Houston, Texas. Company First Sergeant at 2nd Battalion, 3rd Marine Regiment. Sergeant Major at 1st Battalion, 7th Marine Regiment. And Sergeant Major at Marine Light Helicopter Attack Squadron 267. Sergeant Major Cedeno currently serves as the Sergeant Major for Marine Aircraft Group 16, 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing. 
Sergeant Major Cedeno's personal decorations include the Meritorious Service Medal, Navy and Marine Corps Commendation Medal with four gold stars in lieu of fifth award, and Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal with one gold star in lieu of second award. Sergeant Major Cedeno is also the uncle of a Marine graduating here today, Private Brandon Kirchner of Platoon 2125. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sergeant Major Michael E. Cedeno. More than a million Marines have been trained here in the past 100 years and have departed San Diego for combat in conflicts around the world, including places whose names are immediately associated with Marine courage and dedication. Names such as Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Iwo Jima, Pusan, Inchon, Chosen Reservoir, Quezon, Way City, Lebanon, Granada, Panama, Kuwait, Somalia, Fallujah, Ramadi, Marjah, Sangen, and our most current operations worldwide. This Marine Day is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, First Sergeant Jose D. Ruiz, Company First Sergeant and the Regimental Staff. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Marine Band San Diego, Marine Corps Group Depot, San Diego, California. Series 2121. Series Chief Drill Instructor, Gunnery Sergeant, Savi C. Crabtree. Platoon, 2,121. Senior Drill Instructor, Gunnery Sergeant, Joel M. Garrison. Platoon, 2,122. Senior Drill Instructor, Sergeant Giomar B. Elegato. Platoon, 
2,123. Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Paliasi J. Tamale. Regimental Color Guard is led by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor Sergeant Daniel Reyes. Series 2125, Series Chief Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Joshua D. Marshall. And Honor Platoon 2125, Senior Drill Instructor, Staff Sergeant Carlos E. Azacarate. Platoon 2126, Senior Drill Instructor Sergeant Demarcus L. Hill. And Platoon 2127, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Tyler M. Bohannon. Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marine Corps Hymn. The Marines Hymn has a history dating back to 1859. It is a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present and who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you are all encouraged to join. Sing the words to the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs Anchors Away, followed by the Marines Hymn. Will the guests please rise? Thank you. Please be seated. The Marine Corps' uniqueness and strength as an elite fighting force is directly attributable to the magnificent efforts of the drill instructors and company officers who train and supervise the recruits. The distinct qualities of spirit and discipline, the heart and soul of every Marine, have been developed nurtured and ingrained in recruits through their observance and relationship with their drill instructors and officers. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here.
For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company F prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp today, their initial training is not over. Soon after graduation, they will report to the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they will continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to instill the fundamental premise that every Marine is a Rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Andrew E. Luwaniak. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Jose D. Ruiz. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company F. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring, the guidons. The guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit and are a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who display outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. The guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors.
honor graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel Smith, and the battalion sergeant major, Sergeant Major Valdez. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. Please, that Order! Arts! The Honor Graduate for Platoon 2121 is Private First Class Elias L. De La Fuente from San Antonio, Texas. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 2122 and the Series Honor Graduate is Private First Class Matthew Z. Potter II from Troy, Texas. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 2123 is Private First Class Avery G. Thompson from Houston, Texas. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 2125 and the Company Honor Graduate is Private First Class Michael E. Schiffer from Avoca, Iowa. Private First Class Schiffer is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The Honor Graduate for Platoon 2126 is Private First Class Joseph R. Lopez from South Almonte, California. And the Honor Graduate for Platoon 2127 is Private First Class Daniel L. Suazo from Rock Springs, Wyoming. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honor Graduates of Company F. The company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. 